This demonstration will go over Bentec EZ 3D, which is our entry-level hobbyist product for three-dimensional parts. There are three primary interfaces to create parts in EZ 3D. The first one is templates. This interface allows parts to be created using predefined part shapes. There are a hundred or so templates to choose from. You simply find one that looks like the part you need to design. Next, select a material and a die. Then enter the dimension values needed to create the part. For example, here we can enter 42.5 across the top, 18 high, and this last section will be 22 inches. The software will generate the cut length, bend locations, and the bend angles for the part design. The second interface is called Custom Part. In Custom Part, we choose the number of bends, which is limited to a maximum of six. Then enter in the lengths and angles of each section of tube. As each of these values are entered, the part model will be updated. Over here, we can get the cut length, our bend locations, rotations, and bend angles. Our third interface is called Custom 3D Part. Custom 3D Part works a bit differently. You still select the number of bends, but instead of entering the lengths, rotations, and angles, you create the part features in three-dimensional space using terms of ceiling, floor, back, front, left, and right. While doing this, the software will calculate your bend locations, rotations, and other part design information. So let's start out by saying the first leg of our part is 12 inches towards the ceiling. Next, we will work towards the front 15.5 inches. And at the same bend, we will push it up another 3 inches. As you can see up here, the software calculated out our first angle, which turned out to be 79 degrees. At the end of the part, let's go towards the right 18 inches, up towards the ceiling 4.5 inches, and to the front another 2.25 inches. Again, the software will give us the cut length, the bend locations, as well as the rotations and angles. So those are the three interface styles available in Bentec EZ 3D software. Next, we will cover the tube and pipe library. In this library, you create your materials by defining the weight, wall thickness, diameter, and a color. In EZ 3D, you have a choice of round or square tubing. Rectangular tubing, however, is available in higher level Bentec products. There is also a die library. Within the die library, you define the die itself or select a die from the OEM list. However, either way, we do recommend going through the calibration process. To calibrate a die, you cut a piece of material and measure it, mark it three to four inches back, line that mark up on your die, and then bend it to 90 degrees. Once that's done, you'll measure both legs and fill in these values. The software can then calculate your calibrated CLR and bend location offset. Bend location offset is the distance from where you line the mark up to where the bend actually starts on the die. One more feature that is available in Bentec EZ 3D is the simulation. Within simulation, you can see how the part will be bent on the bender. While playing the animation, you can look at it from different angles and see which directions the rotations are taking place. 